Sunday, May 26, 2019. First Fruits Governing Body and the Choices of the Left Behind By Yuli Wedby Message Received May 25, 2019 All those who are made in my image have been given choices, purposes have been ordained, and desires of my heart have been placed within. It is up to each one to choose to serve me and obey, to choose to manifest my life's example here on earth, or to refuse the invitation to a glorified, eternal life with one's Creator. We have placed each one here for a specific role and sanctified those my Father has given me for His will. Those who have been chosen are those who answer the call on their lives and come to call on me as their Messiah. Within this vast group of those who come to know me in this lifetime, there are specified groups, the outcome of their destinies determined by the degree of their surrendered lives. Those who have fully surrendered and given over their lives and their entire being, heart, mind, soul, and will have been sealed first and will be taken by me first as a first fruits harvest, preceding the much larger group who have allowed the desires and distractions of this world to hold their interest, focus, and priority. This first very small group comprises my jewels who will translate and enter into glory ahead of the rest. This group will be rewarded accordingly, as they have learned the obedience and discipline in their lives through following my example and through the trials, suffering and refining they have endured. I tell you this now, this group's reward comes quickly now. The time is upon you. This group is expecting me now and has made her garments clean in holiness, repentance and humility. Within this first group, those who have completed the tasks they were given will stay with me during the great tribulation on earth, and not be required any further service here. There is another part of this first fruits group whose lives have been the training ground for their final assignments, and I will translate them as a testimony of my glory which will be granted as a gift to the much larger group, as the world plunges into darkness under the beast system. They will minister for a time, performing great exploits in my name. They will glorify me as they present themselves to those in the valley of decision, testifying of my love for all my creation. Then, I will bring them home. Those in this larger group, often referred to as those left behind, will still be afforded many graces, although they were not ready for my coming earlier. They, too, are a sealed group, having accepted me as Messiah, and will move forward under greater trials by fire, persecution, and suffering, in order that they receive the reward that is available to them. Greater sacrifice by the laying down of one's life sooner will yield a greater honor in my kingdom. I have gifts and crowns to give all those who choose me in this life but it is up to you the level of glory I reveal to you and the rewards you receive. Those who have chosen me sooner are those who are granted to be my governing body and will rule and reign with me in my kingdom, as mature sons and daughters who inherit the authority, power and rulership that my Father has given me. The larger group who also receive my sealing will then be presented with choices of service to me. Within this group will be many who will be given the opportunity to lay down their lives for me, but for them by this time, it will mean their physical death by martyrdom. These will receive a great reward for this ultimate sacrifice, as those who have gone before them have received. They, too, will enter immortality with me. Those who remain faithful through the darkness under the beast's control, but who are not required to lay down their lives, will enter immortality, be translated, glorified slash raptured, when I come for this group, and although they will not be comprised of my governing body, will remain to live in peace and harmony during the 1,000-year millennial reign on earth. The level of intimacy we share now in this life, determines your position in my kingdom. Once understood, this revelation will help many who are having difficulty choosing the direction and choices that have and will be presented to them. Just as I have said, in my Father's house are many mansions. All that is spoken in my word has many layers of meaning and revelation. Again, to those who are intimate with me, I reveal the secret mysteries. I am not interested in lip service to me, just as I do not honor or reward vain sacrifices and traditions of men. You are about to suddenly see that without intimacy, your religious practices are dead in spirit. Religion charities and organizations dedicated to good works, anything led by man and man's desires and who does not carry my spirit within is dead. I cannot emphasize this enough. 
Come out of the Babylonian system, come out of the world as those who I have chosen are not of this world, just as I was not of this world. Hear what my spirit is speaking to you. Many are called, few are chosen. Every single choice you make each day determines your eternal destiny. Does this sink in with you at all? You are walking a path that results in a determined outcome that cannot be reversed after you leave this earth. Why would you choose to accept anything less than the full outpouring of my blessings for you because you chose very poorly in the here and now? I am limitless, and all that is of me is offered to you. What greater gift could there be? I implore you. Take these, my words to heart. Meditate deeply on everything I am revealing to you. I have so much more to share with you than what you have perceived. Come to me and pray for revelation and wisdom, as I give freely to all who ask and all who seek me with all their heart. Choices for many of you reading this must be made this instant, because judgment is set and is now here, and many will enter this day into eternal separation or eternal glory with me. If these words have not pricked your heart, if you are not convicted of all that has been spoken, if you go from here back to your comfortably numb state of being, if you still have the thirst for entertainment and the ways of this world, continuing to be indoctrinated and programmed, then there is nothing more your Creator and Father can say to you, is there? I love you beyond measure, but I force no one to return that love. What a man sows, he will reap. The reaping is begun. The great harvester comes with all his heavenly hosts mustered for battle. My sword of truth cuts asunder. Yah Yeshua.